Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to be working on assembling an Ikea Calyx uh, 12 cube shelving unit, all right? So basically what we're gonna be doing is, let's take a look over here. We're gonna be taking this and turning it into this. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'll open the boxes, we'll go through the directions really quick. And what I'll do is kind of walk through the initial steps of how to do this, shoot a time lapse, if I run into any issues, I'll stop the time lapse, jump back on camera, explain what's going on. Uh, but overall, I hope that just kind of do the intro, run through the directions, do the time lapse. It's going to be simple, hopefully. And then I'll show you the finished product and we'll get out of here. All right. So let's get started. Okay. Got everything taken out of the box. I don't have to show you how to do that because, well, you should just know how to take things out of a box, right? But what you want to do is I always do this. I go through and inventory everything just real quick. Make sure I have all the pegs that I need, all the screws, the screwdriver, all, right, all these anchor pieces. Uh, just correlate that against your, your booklet here, right? And then just start following the direction here. You know, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of these, uh, you know, <clears throat> two of these guys here, three of these guys here, two of these and two of these larger ones. All right, uh, what we're gonna do now is just like I said before, I'll walk through the first initial steps of putting this together uh, on a regular just cam on the regular uh, speed camera. And then after this, I'll do a time lapse and hopefully we're not any problems and you'll see me at the end and we'll talk about how awesome this was. All right, let's get started. Okay, so simple stuff, all right? Actually really simple. You put this here, you put the longer one here. All right, this is one of the longer, the longest pieces. You put this here and you look for it's close enough. The two screw holes shows you that in the directions. Right, there's also going to be a hole here. Okay, it's going to run lengthwise. And honestly, it doesn't matter how you do this because you're going to flip it anyway. Like it matters how you have this, but it doesn't matter how you're you're laying it out here. All right, as long as it matches up according to your directions. All right, and then you're going to grab the piece with four holes. You're going to put it up top. Okay, holes facing in. You line up these two holes here. You're gonna take one of your long screws. You're gonna feed that through the back, screw it in. All right, like the directions say, you're gonna do that for the top and bottom. There's gonna be two holes for that, all right? All right, real simple so far. Uh, also, let me add, let me add one thing. Last night, my wife put together uh, the 20 shell, the 20 cube version of this all by herself, all right? So I'm hoping I have the same success. So let's just keep moving along with this, all right? It's gonna be pretty simple and it's gonna follow like the same pattern once we get this going, all right? So next, you pull out your directions, right? Step two, you get your pegs here, your wooden pegs, all right? Four of those and two of these boards, all right? And if you can't see this, well, you should have your own manual. If not, you can download it from Ikea. Um, just showing you that I'm using the manual here, all right? So we got two of these boards. Now, as you look at the man, as you look at the directions, you're not gonna start from the outside in, you're gonna start from here and go out, okay? This is gonna be reserved for, it's gonna build your third cube off of this, all right? So just follow along and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, you'll need a hammer or like preferably a mallet to, put your uh, wood pegs in here. So let me get that and we'll get this all set up here. Okay, so it doesn't matter what side you use here. Just know, you know, you're gonna have two peg holes here and here. We're gonna go like this and like that, all right? So we have those on there. Now we're gonna add a board across here. Okay, it's gonna be another one with the, this one has two holes in it, all right? So pay attention on the manual to where you see these holes, all right? All right, so now we're not, 
we're not putting any pegs in here, okay? We're not putting any pegs in here. But where we're gonna put the pegs are gonna be on this end, okay? This end here that I'm connecting to this board through these two pegs here, all right? Take your board. Now the holes go through on this as well. So just know that, all right? That's why we're just doing this here. Okay, so now we're just gonna repeat. Repeat again. So I'll just put the time lapse on. I'll get to work here. Okay, so real quick, I just want to point something out that uh, my, my wife pointed out last night and that I think might be really important to you guys as well. So let's check this out. Um, when, all right, so here we go. When we're putting together, let's get a higher level view, right? We're, we're, we're attaching the next like floor to the cube, if you want to call it that, into the wall here, all right? Um, make sure that this is butted up together before you get everything finished, all right? Uh, because if it's not, stupid man. Because if it's not butted up together, you're going to have a really hard time um, once this is assembled, making sure everything's put together. So that's really my only tip right there. Um, we'll get back to the time lapse now, all right? Right, so there it is, all put together. Uh, as you can tell, I only stopped like that one time to talk about making sure all these are joined here. And as you can see, that's what I was talking about. All right, you want that nice seal uh, throughout there. All right, same thing here. All right, and I chose to stand it uh, horizontally instead of vertically. I'll get more use out of it. And yeah, so I hope this video helped. Uh, hope if you guys have any questions, you drop them in the comment. But honestly, this is like super simple. Uh, don't stress it. You got this. So if this video helped, hit that like button. And if you're really into it, hit that subscribe button. I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace.